Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review the items that I have used from the Fall Fab Fit Fun box. If you found me through this video that I did previously on the options of the box, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So I've had a chance to try almost everything. I don't know why I'm so excited about this box. I think it's one of the best. I think they did a really good job. I have loved stuff from the other boxes, but this season, it's just like, I love it. I love it. Okay. Now I have did the previous video where I ran down what your choices are. So you get to like, you know, review them before you pick. The more I use this, I see like, this is a really great dorm room present if you have the college kid. Okay. So because I got two skincare, so the more I look at it, it's like, oh, well, if you swap out one of the things for one of the home items, then that's a great dorm room gift. Okay, so the Mucklux, of course. I haven't worn them a lot because I'm on the third floor and they make sound, so I'm trying to be considerate of my neighbor. <laughs> but this is gonna travel with me when I do hotel stays because they're just so cute and very comfy. Yes, so if you do have that child that is going off to college, this would be so great for the dorm room. I wanted to review too, so just to give you guys an idea, this box window is open for a long time. I have tried the Kopari Moisture Whip Ceramide Cream. If you have been with me, I have eczema. I say that a million times. And if you have not, if you're new, I have eczema. I get flares like crazy, so I'm so careful about what I put on my face. When you have eczema, your skin barrier is damaged, so it's very important to use products with ceramides. Every skincare product I get, I get several in PR boxes. I always get really excited because I'm like, please, please let this work. So far, so good. Sometimes it takes more than a week to figure it out if it's going to work for me in the long run. The reason why I am looking for an alternative to what I use now is I'm using Tatcha's Indigo Cream. I love it, but she's $92. And when I started buying her, she was 65. Luxury skincare, I'm trying to find alternatives for just because I'm trying to keep the price nice. So Kapari, I did look her up and she does have 0.2 more fluid ounces. This is a bigger bottle than my Tatcha. So nothing against Tatcha. I'm just trying to find better alternatives for myself that are going to be more cost efficient because I go through it like crazy. I definitely noticed it's a bigger bottle. And when you open her, the texture of this is beautiful. It is whipped. It's heavy, but not greasy and absorbs into your skin nicely and it has ceramides. Again, if you have any irritation on your skin, you need to repair. Your skin barrier with ceramides also has hyaluronic acid, so that is going to help retain the moisture. So, so far, so good. The next one I'm going to try, I've tried her on my hands, but because I'm trying one at a time, the One Kind Dream Cream is also very nice. Now, what I like about both of them is there's no scent, so I know it's not going to harm me. If you have sensitive skin and you're using fragrance, just stop right now because it's only going to get worse. So this also has like very good calming ingredients like aloe, cocoa seed butter, shea butter. It has triglycerides. Oh, squalane. Squalane is great for that barrier repair also. If your skin is damaged, it's going to go in and give it a little bind, okay? So every skincare brand is talking about squalane now. Also, this is going to go in my purse where this stays in the bathroom. So I can use them concurrently. There's been no reaction so far because I do reapply throughout the day. This is a nice tube size that will, will go in my purse. By the way, use a spatula. If you have a jar like this, don't dip your fingers into it. It will get icky. I looked it up and found the podcast. So Array, this company, has other products that delay gray hairs and promote repigmentation in your hair. Sometimes I look at my hair and I think I'm gray or I find a patch of gray hair somewhere and then like a part of my soul dies a little bit because I'm like, whoa, wait, wait, no. For me, yes, I've been in the beauty industry. I'm all about preserving youth, anti-aging. So if I can stop them before they come, because once you get a whole patch of it and you know, don't get me wrong. There are ladies who choose to have their grace. There is nothing wrong with that. It's personal preference. 
I think it's beautiful. I'm just not there yet for me. <laughs> I might be a little more vain than the average lady, but anyways, these are, if I find that there's something that can prevent, then you don't have to like fix later. Also because I'm sensitive, I don't want to go into like dyeing my hair and stuff. One thing, it does have a scent. I was surprised because actually my initial impression, it's like, it's a little bit of a manly scent. Good or bad, I don't know. So I look, it has sesame and it has caffeine. I'm not sure what the scent it is. It might be sesame. They might've put that because some people might be allergic to sesame, but the, the scent is like, uh, I can't explain it. Maybe like an aftershave kind of scent. It's really light, but actually it disappears. I just noticed it when I sprayed it in my hair and then it, disappears because I like girly scents. There are some like manly scents that I do like, like sandalwood um, and sage, but I, I'm not sure what it is, but it does disappear. I haven't used the umbrella yet, but you know, again, Asian and anti-aging, that's like my hashtags right now. I just thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect for those summer days when you gotta use an umbrella it's not just for the rain because now i'm at that stage where i'm gonna put my hat and my sunglasses and my gloves and my umbrella on a hot summer day uh perfect for everybody right now is going to the orange county fair where they have no trees and the sun is bouncing off that concrete i have brought my umbrella there in the past because she is very useful this umbrella yeah she's pretty and she smells, so she's just gonna go in my car to provide extra shade for the summer. Okay, you wanna hear something funny? I have these little umbrella covers. I don't know what they're for, cause now I've lost two of them to the vacuum car wash. <laughs> it just, whoop, I think, oops. There's actually another little umbrella cover. I'll have to show it to you in another video. I cut it from Daiso and it has a microfiber lining and you put it in there and it absorbs the water so when you do use it when it rains, it's useful for that. So I'm not sure what these are for actually. Okay, lastly, the Eatwell journal. I haven't used her yet, but I did put my little tabby thingies. I love to journal. I journal everything. I journal for my ideas, for my videos. I journal like goals or habits that I need to change. And you guys, it really works. Journal your gratitudes, everything. So, this is actually a cooking journal. This always happens. I think I don't need the box. Don't get more stuff, no more stuff. But then I end up really liking the stuff. <laughs> like, oh, things I didn't know I needed or brands that I didn't know that I want to support. My first box was the spring box and it was so good. And there were other things that I didn't choose in my um, customization. So I ended up getting a second box. There were some good things in there, but not as good as this where I find my, myself using everything. But now this journal, my intention was to write down recipes. So I put my own tabs here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then the tab here for the conversions. That way it's easy to find. I never write down things that I cook. And now that now it's like time to start and my daughter she's barely in her teens this is a great way to, to by the time she leaves me you know when she's 40 never i can hand her this book of recipes or because she's starting to experiment in the kitchen she can write them down too so it's something that i can just pass on to her and that actually made me think of let me buy one of these for my dad because I'll ask him and then he'll get on the computer and type me a little thing of a recipe. And this way he can either type and then stick it in here. I'll cut it out and stick it in like a, you know, scrapbook. Or he can just write down the things that he's cooking, you know, and that way I can preserve his cooking techniques and recipes too. My dad's a really good cook, but I don't live with him. So I, you know, I'm missing out by not being there to observe. And, you know, as Asian parents are, the times that he has tried to teach me to cook, he's just like, he gets impatient. He's like, you're doing it wrong. Let me just do it and pushes me over. And then <laughs> I'm just, he's like, okay, and this and this, and then he'll just call me and say, do you know what to use this for? And I don't always remember. So if I can give this one of these to him, so, you know, one for me, my daughter, and then one for him, 
so he can write down the things. So we just have all that good cooking knowledge stored for generations. My computer went haywire, so I couldn't finish some of my videos that I intended to post about the Norsham sale, the journal, the paper. I still do the paper. Then you're never going to lose it. Here's just another little story, a little anecdote. This was the 90s. Yeah, 90s, early 2000s. Like my friends in high school and college, we'd take so many photos just for fun and then print them out. It was always so exciting. So I still have boxes and boxes of photos from college and my mom stored boxes of photos from the 90s. So when she passed away unexpectedly, this was a few years ago, I had those photos to go through, to scan, and then put in a slideshow. But there was a period of time where we switched from film to digital and we didn't know where the digital photos went from like 2000. I don't know, I don't know exactly when it was, but there was definitely a gap where we couldn't find where we put those photos. Was it on a disc? <laughs> that was now obsolete because computers don't use either CDs or floppy disks anymore. Is it on an old computer? Did it get stuck on a hard drive? Unfortunate that these things that are made for convenience were actually, we lost something there because I didn't have the physical photos and it's actually fun and nostalgic to open those photo boxes. Yeah, of course we look at it like, what are we gonna do with it? But to actually go through it and you know, see what we were wearing and stuff like that. That's my, my push for paper <laughs> that, that the journal for recipes is going to like serve you better in the long run than putting it on a computer, computer problems. Yeah. So that is my review of the stuff that I personally got in my box. Like I said, if I were going to gift it to someone, I would trade out one of the skincares because look, there's two skincares, right? And this one's bigger. So I always look at value. This is 1.7, this is 2.1. Look at value, like trade this one out, get get a, um, or I don't know if it works. It has to work in the customization, but I didn't need a blanket and I didn't need bakeware. So that's why I ended up with two skincares. So if you are gonna gift, like, you know, swap it out for a homeware, a bakeware or a blankie, and it's gonna make a really great dorm room gift or cozy fall gift. If you have a friend who's who loves fall or it's a birthday in the fall, yada, yada. Anyways. I do love this box, so I am going to rave about it. And I will, will admit, at first, I didn't think I was going to rave about it until I actually got the things in my hand. And it was like, okay, yeah, I get it. You know, other things in other boxes, some of the, the hair tools that I didn't touch, didn't use. But this one, this one takes the cake. I am going to use everything and <laughs> highly recommend. So you can find the details of the FabFitFun box down below in the description. There's a coupon code. If you do want to see the full customization, you can watch my first video where I go down the list of what the choices were and how I came to my decision. And don't forget to use the link and my coupon down below. I do get a little credit if you shop through my video and also going to link the products individually if you don't want to buy the whole box. Great way to find just products. There's a little bag here that says view products and you can click that and find those as well. Thank you so much for joining you guys. My name is Michelle. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.